Travis here. I came out to the camp today to build some walls for our shelters. Hopefully you can get both the shelters done today. Travis still needs a tarp. And then I'm going to fix that fire reflector that I made last video. Try to fix it. Make it a little bit safer. And maybe eat some food. Maybe eat some food. Uh, I got a new camera, so hopefully the video quality is better. So let's get started. All right, let's do this. What we're looking to do is finish the sides of the this one over there, and then hopefully get this sides of this shelter done. We're going to do them differently just to see how both of them work. We're going to go vertical up and down with these ones. All right, we're out here looking for logs big enough to be the sides of our shelters. So let's see if we can find some. Found a nice decent sized, nice long log. I'm going to have to cut it down a little bit. This place is just full of dead kind of dangerous. There is a lot of that all over. Took us about 10 minutes, but we collected all these logs. Yep. There. First wall done. <laughs> See what we did? Put stakes in the ground and pinched logs in between the frame and the stake, creating a wall. Halfway done with the second wall.
trying to keep the camera steadier than I have been. That looks pretty good. Yeah. I like it. Canadian jam nut. Where do you think I learned this? I'll give you a hint. It's Joe Robinette. There's the second wall. The shelter, aside from a tarp, is done. We are taking a break right now. I thought it would be a good time to let you guys know, the few viewers we have, that this is not an educational channel. Don't come to this channel expecting to learn anything because we don't know what we're doing. We're learning ourselves, so it's all new to us. I wouldn't even consider us bushcrafters because we don't know anything about bushcraft. I've read 27 pages of a bushcraft book. We're just out here playing, basically, playing fort. <laughs> I'm not sure if this channel is going to be strictly bushcraft or outdoors stuff. It's kind of hard to get out in the woods enough to make videos for every week. So I might have little adventures in other hobbies that I have, uh, possibly firearms, uh, painting, DIY projects, stuff I like to do. So hopefully those will be interesting videos too. I feel like that was a lot of talking. Yeah. Let's start building the second shelter. All right, we're cutting more logs for Tyler's vertical wall. Mine's horizontal, so we're kind of trying a bunch of different things here. We'll see how it goes. We just went and got some more logs. Cleaning them up to go on his wall. I'm getting nowhere. Well, the idea is to cut them. Perfectly in line, kind of like this one here, but as we're finding out, it's hard to cut. So we'll find a different way to do it. There's the first wall of my shelter. Just tied them all on. Didn't support any of it at the bottom. Doesn't seem necessary as long as they stand up. Get one shelter done. All the walls. It's nice. All right, we're packing up and heading out. We got a bunch of work done. All the sides to the shelters are done. I didn't get to the fire reflector, but that's okay. Have another look. There's one shelter done. 
and that one just needs a tarp. So, we're heading out. Until Thank next time. Thanks for watching. Bonus footage, it's us walking. This new camera is pretty amazing. I uh, have three quarters of a battery left. My old camera I bought in 2010. And I would get maybe 20 minutes out of the battery. Then I bought two new batteries and I'd probably get five minutes out of each of those. Those are $15 a piece. This one I've recorded all day. Pretty impressed with it. I like it. Across the river. <laughs> oh, soaked pants. Right there is an old bushcraft, air quotes, bushcraft, fort I made when I was very young. My dad wasn't happy about that. I also have to slow my pans down because that makes people sick. Over here is a cabin my dad built out of reclaimed wood when we were really little. We would spend the night in there all the time. The best thing in our family yard is this. How many people have a merry-go-round in their backyard? Pretty fancy. If I remember right, there's what? 25 cents, 35 cents stuck in there. Yeah, and thousands and thousands of bees. It's my parents' pond.